Well, every year, the first week of October marks the Super Bowl of the dairy industry. Farmers, exhibitors, and cows from over 100 countries are back in Madison for the 56th World Dairy Expo. World Dairy Expo is happening at the Align Energy Center through Friday, and that's where we find farm director Pam Yankee, who's in her happy place right now. <laughs> Hi, Pam. Pam. Oh, very happy place, very happy place. And this weather has been really cooperating too. I wanna to get right to it, folks, because one of the things we always like to stress at World Dairy Expo is the heritage of the show and the families. And you probably recognize these two characters. This is Thriller, by the way, who now is not, suddenly not excited about being on camera. This is Brian and Jimmy Vagley from New Glarus. The Vagley family has been a major part of World Dairy Expo since its inception. Brian, explain a little bit about how dad kind of got into this. Yeah, it was uh, amazing. It was four gentlemen that are considered the foundation fathers that created this some um, 56, 57 years ago. Yeah. And uh, they, they set uh, the blueprint of what this show was. And uh, to this day, we're continuing on with it. So great heritage. Did you ever imagine it would get this big? It's unbelievable what it did. But is is their vision that they had, too, yeah. at the same time. So yes and no. I, it, it is a dream come true. If he was still alive, he'd yeah, be. Right. Oh, man. Love you know, and like we said, they're in the game to win. Anybody that's here is in the game to win. This is Thriller. Tell me a little bit about her. Uh, Thriller's mother was a cow we showed here a couple years ago that actually was a nominated All-American cow herself. This calf had done well at, during the state yeah, shows sure. this year. Um, just yeah. uh, exciting to be part of the show. How many do you have on the string? Do you know, Jimmy? Uh, we have 10? 11. 11. <laughs> I'm not good at math. <laughs> but I'll tell you what they are good at. This guy, aside from both these guys, aside from dairy farming and uh, taking care of the day-to-day -day task of taking care of Thriller, Brian launched Yodelay yogurt using their own brown Swiss milk for a Greek-style fantastic yogurt. And Jimmy, you probably recognize from the Jimmy's a very popular band all across the countryside, but especially here in Wisconsin. So with all that, why do you still keep doing this? Uh, World Dairy Expo is probably the greatest place that you can market merchandise cattle. Uh, it is the showcase of the industry for anything dairy. It's the meeting place. So uh, anybody that has anything to do with show cattle, the dairy industry, this is a place you want to be. And the people. Oh, and the people. <laughs> yeah. They've been us. They've been attacked several times from buddies. Buddies, <laughs> Jimmy's yelling security. But honestly, buddy, you have a rugged schedule with the Jimmy's, mm -hmm. and yet I'll catch you on social media chopping hay or doing something like that. How right. do you do it? I don't know how. I don't know why or how, but it's innate in our blood just to keep busy, and, and uh, I'm very proud of both sides of it. Our family was very musical, my father and my mother, and uh, it's just it's something that I've kept going on that side, and but. I enjoy the dichotomy of the two yeah. industries and, and yeah. uh, both play off of each other. A lot of hard work and yeah. very proud of it. And he loves the people too. You know that if you've seen him. Good job. Again, like I said, the heritage of the show, the family that started it, the family that's dedicated to still being in it. I could go on and on. I'm sure you know. Laura Hirschleb is now in her second year as World Dairy Expo General Manager. And today, it was all about sharing this passion with We Tots. Yes, absolutely. We had over 600 fourth graders that were here learning all about World Dairy Expo and the dairy industry. We're going to have another 550. Those students are from the Dane County and greater area. Um, and so we're so excited to be able to share and convey the passion that we all feel for the dairy industry with all of them. It's really about educating those next generation of consumers and getting them excited and consuming dairy products and further supporting the Wisconsin dairy industry. There are a lot of exhausted exhausted volunteers because of those kids today. I'll tell you what, they had them moving all over the grounds. They learned a lot. They visited with the farmers, the veterinarians. Yes, exactly. They have several different stations that they go see. They go, they watch the cattle show. They go in and see the milking parlor. They see the cows in the barns. And then they are visit other our commercial exhibitors and trade show booths as well. So they're seeing all aspects of the show. And again, it's really just instilling that passion and understanding for dairy. So there you go. If you are a parent of one of those kids and they come home tired, or blah, 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 about things like Thriller. It's all on World Dairy Expo. But I'll take my share of credit for this beautiful bovine. Oh, she really she is. is. We, that, that's what we've been saying here in the studio. She is just beautiful. Yes, she yep, we let her stand here long enough, she'll fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Pam, thank you. Thank everyone for us. You bet. All right. Yep, you bet, guys. Have a good one. Thanks, Pam.